To factor this problem completely, we first look for the greatest common factor, which in this case is a 2. When we divide that out of the first term, we're left with 7x squared. In the second term, we'll be left with 32x, and in the last term, we'll be left with minus 15. Now we need to try to break down our trinomial. Because the second term is negative, that means we'll have opposite signs. And in the first term, we need the, um, to end up with a product of 7x squared. So that means we'll need a 7x and an x. We could start with a plus and a minus, but we might need to reverse those. For the last term to be a 15, we can try 5 and 3, 3 and 5, 15 and 1, or 1 and 15, until we find one that will work. Looking at this, if we try the 5 with the 3, we get a positive 5x and a negative 21x. Well, positive 5 and negative 29, 21 does not add to 32, so that combination will not work. So we do not want the 5 and 3, so we might try the 3 with the 5. When we do that, we get a positive 3x in the middle and, and a negative 35x on the outside. Well, negative 35 plus positive 3 is negative 32. We can see we've got the 32, but we've got the wrong sign. That means if we reverse these and make it 7x minus 3 and x plus 5, we'll have a negative 3x on the inside and a positive 35x on the outside, which gives us the positive 32x we were looking for. So that means that 2 times the 7x minus 3 times the x plus 5 would be the completely factored form for this problem.